I shall now declare unto you in full this knowledge, both phenomenal and noumenal, by knowing which there shall remain nothing further to be known. Jnanam te hang sabi jnanam idang bakshami asi sata daj gatya neho bhuyan naj gyata bam abasi sate So Krishna is personally speaking about himself as we understood in the previous bhag that Asangsayam samagrangma jathāgaya sasī tachinu. Asangsayam, without any doubt, uh, if we speculate, uh, about God, that will uh, never be sufficient. Uh, not even we can touch the blessings of the knowledge. If we want uh, knowledge without any doubt, asaṅsa, samagram, and complete then we must hear from God Himself. This is very easy to understand. Uh, by hypothesis, by speculation, you cannot understand anything. It must be known scientifically, and this science can be understood if a person knows the science. So who can know God better than God Himself? Therefore, uh, our processes, we have repeatedly explained this, that we do not speculate about God. Just like there are so many others Theosophists and theologists, they are speculating what is God. They don't accept God personally explaining, uh, they would not accept. They would simply speculate. Uh, this is their disease. Uh, when God is explaining Himself, in the Bhagavad Gita. Rather, they will mislead the uh, readings of the Bhagavad Gita in different interpretation, but they will not accept what is being taught by God Himself. This is their misfortune. Why shall I uh, accept Krishna as God? Although he has proved himself when he was present by the qualification which God needs uh, to become God is not an easy thing. Uh, there are some qualifications. Yesterday we discussed that he must be the richest, he must be the most powerful, he must be the most famous, he must be 
the most learned. He must be the most beautiful and he must be the most renowned. This is the definition of God. Uh, a poor man begging from door to door, uh, he cannot become God. As it is misconceived, Daridra Nara. Why Narayan can be Daridra? What is this nonsense? He is the richest. Huh? He is the richest. And why he can, he can, uh, he'll be Daridra? Uh, the argument is forward that, that God is everyone's heart. Therefore, everyone is God. What is this argument? Uh, everyone's heart, God is there. God says, Ishara sarvabhutana mridyeshe arjuna tishthati. Where God says that because Ishara, the Supreme <laughs> Being, is situated in everyone's heart, therefore everyone is God. What is this argument? Where Krishna says that because Ishara Sarva Bhutana Vridesh Arjuna Tishtati, therefore everyone is God. Is that a very sound argument? Huh? Uh, this is going on. Uh, they do not know what is God. And still there are so many incarnations of God. And foolish people accept that here is an incarnation of God. He does not know what is God, and he accepts here is God. We do not do so. If there is incarnation of God, that is mentioned in the Srimad Bhagavatam, their activities are mentioned, wonderful activities. We accept. Lord Ramchandra and God, Lord uh, Krishna as God, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu as God, because they are mentioned in the Shastras, uh, all the incarnations, even this age. Uh, one may say that Lord Ramchandra is accepted. God. Lord Krishna is our successor. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, uh, he is the greatest devotee of God, but there are some persons in the Nimbarka Sampradaya. They put this argument. Uh, but Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's uh, name is there in the Shastra, many Upanishads. Especially in the Srimad Bhagavatam, that in the Kali this incarnation of God should be worshipped. What is that description? Krishna Varnang Tisha Krishna Sang Pangastha Parsadam Jagnai Sankirtanai Prayai Jajanti Hi Sumedasa. <coughs> Clearly, Chaitanya. Krishna Varnam Tisha Akrishna. He is Krishna or Krishna Varnayati Iti Krishna Varnam. Srila Jiva Goswami, the most authoritative acharya of our sampradaya, he has explained like this Krishna Varnam means always chanting Hare Krishna. Krishnam Varnayati describing Krishna. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. This is description of Krishna, huh? addressing Krishna. So therefore Krishna Varnam or Varna means category. <coughs> Just like Brahman Varna, Chatriya Varna. So in that say Krishna Varna means he is Krishna in the category of Krishna. 
either you take this meaning or that meaning, Krishna Varna. But Krishna is black and he is Tisha by the complexion of Krishna. Akrishna means not Krishna. Now there are so many colors. So everything is Akrishna. The color, all the colors are mixed together, it becomes black. Otherwise, there are many different colors. So Akrishna means different color, not Krishna, not black. So what is the actual? That we have to refer to Shastra again. The Krishna, in how many categories of color he appears? That is stated in the Bhagavatam. When Krishna was born, then Gargumuni was calculating about his horoscope, and he said to Nanda Maharaj, that this your child, idāniṁ kṛṣṇatā āngata, śukla raktas tathā pīta idāniṁ kṛṣṇatā āngata. Your child had uh, formerly white collar, uh, white collar, uh, sometimes some critics criticize us that Krishna everywhere is black. Why in your temple white? But it is said that Sukla, Sukla, Raktas Tatha Pita, Idanim Krishna Tangata, your son had other colors also white and red and yellow. And now he has assumed black is color. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Tisha or Krishna, is not black is. Then he must be other four, Shukla, Rakta, Pita. So he assumed the Pita, yellow is color. Therefore, Tisha or Krishna. Uh, Tisha means by complexion. The Krishna Varnam, Krishna Varnayati, Iti Krishna Varnam, or Krishna Iti Krishna Varnam, and Tisha by complexion, A Krishna, Pita, Idani, Pita Varnam, Pita Varana Gora, Golden Avatar. And Sangha Pangasta Parsadam is always surrounded by associates, especially by Sri Adhita Gadadhar Shiva Shadi, Sri Krishna Chaitanya, he is Krishna, then Nityananda, then Adhita, then Gadadhar, then Shiva, and many other devotees, always followers. That is the life of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Wherever he went, many followers chanting Hare Krishna, plus this principal associates were with him. Therefore, Sangha Panga Parsa. And these Sangha Upanga were his astra. Astra, astra means weapon. God in advance for two purposes. Uh, what are the two purposes? Puritranayam sadhunam, just to give relief and deliver the devotees. The devotees are always anxious to see God. So God comes down to give relief to the devotee being present before them. Paritrāna is another vināsāyata duskita to annihilate the demons. So that for annihilating, for killing, 
ઈડીકવા રોય પણ કૃષ્ણહારી જોય પણ સુદર્શન ચક્ર લોર્ડ રામચંદ્ર હેઝીઝ હોય પણ હું બહુ એનારો હવાની દીવ હોય પણ આપ શ્રી ચૈતન્ય માર્ગ સાંગ પાંગ આસ્ત પારસોધામ હીઝ એસોસિયેટ્સ આ રીઝ હોય પણ દિસ ઇઝ અસ્ત્ર બિકોઝ ઇન ધી કલીઝ યુગ દે આર સો ફોલન ઇવન દે આર ડિમાન્ડ દે આર થર્ડ ક્લાસ ફોર્થ ક્લાસ ડિમાન્ડ they need not be killed they are already killed uh, their mode of life their um, atmosphere they are always dead uh, that is just like we see so many demons so what is there to kill them they are already killed they have no life so this killing process in kaliju is to kill their demonic propensities and how to kill that demonic propensities by spreading hari krishna movement this is also uh, otherwise to kill them is a, by life it is not difficult one slap is sufficient they don't require other weapon but real krishna comes to kill or to give protection because he is absolute it is the same thing if he is killing some demons he is giving in protection he stops his demonic activities further to implicate himself in more trouble uh, therefore when krishna kills one demon that means he saves him he saves him the absolute there is absolute either he gives protects his devotee or kills the demon the result is the same that for is called absolute so in this age kali ju to kill the demons means to stop their demonic activities by the astra uh, kirtan hari sankirtan which is spread by his associates nitananda prabhu adwaita prabhu shivasaadi gaur bhakta binda they are going door to door country to country city to city Uh, and saving the demons from <coughs> being implicated more and more in material existence uh, therefore this is the astra uh, astra means the killing this so, so, uh, real purpose a living entity is eternal how he can be killed na hannate hanmane sharire to to kill means to kill his demonic nature otherwise how can we kill jai mang there is bhats anyone who knows that the living entity is never killed and he a living entity does not kill anyone neither is living entity is ever killed one who knows this he knows So that is the position so killing does not mean that the killing the living entity that is not possible na jayate na amriyati va killing means to killing to kill his demonic activities stop killing means stop acting so sang panga sparsadam this is the description of the god krishna in this age that is chaitanya mahap krishna vannang tisha krishna shang paanga asa parasam and how to worship him what is the process jaggai sankirtanai that's all. you keep chaitanya mahaprabhu's deity 
and chant and dance, your life is successful. So easy. Uh, we are worshipping Radha Krishna. That is very difficult. But if we keep Chaitanya Mahaprabhu with his associate, this Panchatattva, uh, Gaur Nitai, Gaur Gadadhar, or Panchatattva, and worship him according to this Shastra description. <coughs> This is the description is Jagai Sankirtana. This is Jagga. Life is meant for performing Jagga. In the Bhagavad Gita it is said, Jagnyate karma. You are very busy. Yes, you should be busy always, twenty-four hours. For what purpose? Jagnyate, not for your sense gratification. That is devotion. Jagyarthi karma. Karma, we, we, we are not dull matter. We have got our flexible hands and legs to work. People think that uh, this Krishna conscious man, Hare Krishna people, they are escaping. What is that? Escaping? Uh, we are not escaping. We are practically taking the real activity. Paranga dhishtya nivartate. Although people see that we do not work, we do not go to the factory, we do not to the mine, we do not go to the uh, so many, so many things, or professional, uh, we do not become lawyer, engineer, uh, they say that you escape. Uh, no, you see, we are always busy. Uh, Twenty-four hours busy. Uh, I'm old man of eight years. Still I'm busy. I'm traveling all over the world, writing book at night, talking with visitors, and so many things you can see. So where we are escaping? Uh, we are the most responsible worker. <coughs> uh, so the what is the difference? The difference is all people are engaged for sense gratification. We are engaged for satisfying Krishna. But activities are there. So when you engage yourself <coughs> for satisfaction of Krishna, yoga means satisfaction of Krishna or Vishnu. Vishnu aradhati pungsa nanna tattu sukaranam. This is called yoga. Vishnu, Jagga means uh, worshipping Lord Vishnu. Tattusu karanam, acting for His satisfaction. Tusa means satisfaction. Uh, and in another place it is also said, Tatapun vidhijasrishta varnasama vibhagasa sānuṣṭhitasya puṁśaśya. Sānuṣṭhitasya puṁśaśya. Eh? Sānuṣṭhitasya dharmaśya saṅśiddhi harito saram. Everyone has got different type of activities. Formerly it was divided into four. The Brahman activity, the chatri activity, the Vaishya activity and the Sudra activity. Now it has been developed at the present moment so many. But if you again collect all of them, they will come to the same categories or divisions. Uh, some intelligent class of men, they are working day and night uh, about understanding the absolute truth or the truth, just like the theosophies, the philosophers, the uh, theologists, the scientists, so many brain workers, they are working to discover better way of life, 
how to how the human society should be more and more happy so this is the work of the brahmanas but nowadays the the brain is not utilized for understanding brahma but for uh, understanding the ways of higher standard of life sense get to be anyway that is intelligent work next the administrative work next the productive work and next the work of general work the same brahman khatri vaishya sudha uh, so uh, <coughs> bhagavad gita recommends that you work for uh, krishna if you are in india so you use your talent how to construct a very wonderful temple for krishna that will be success of your learning engineering sanushtita uh, sadharmasya anyone has got a particular talent so how to make that talent successful na sanushtita sadharmasya samshuddhi haritu sanam if you are very first class engineer you constructs such a wonderful temple for krishna that people from all the world will come to see it then you are successful so any uh, <coughs> line of education you cannot take it but use it for krishna's satisfaction then your education is perfect otherwise samaye vahi kevalam simply uh, working uselessly and waste of time that is it so yoga that is yoga when you work for krishna to satisfy krishna that is yoga yoga uh, does not mean that simply by performing fire sacrifices and offering little ghee upon it no that is yoga that is ordinary yoga <coughs> agnihotra yoga but the real purpose of yoga is the same purpose in the in the fire sacrifice we offer the food grains that means the supreme lord is eating through fire <coughs> so eating is satisfaction so krishna is not satisfied only by eating he has got other senses also krishna is not niraka and krishna you satisfy any sense of krishna you are, you are successful and he can satisfy anything through any sense angani jasa sagalendra vitti manti so this is the called yagna yagna so yagna has to be part of the saho yagna puja srishta in the bhagavad gita is fine the all the living entities were especially the human being the demigods demigods were first created the same disease they created later on imam vivasati yug yugam pratman vivasan manove prah the sun god was created then from him manu came from manu ikha ko came ikha ko in this way. so all this prajas prajani was created for performing yagna that is stated in the book so everyone is meant for performing yagna yagnarthi uh, karma everyone should work for performing yagna 
That is human life. Uh, war, very hard. You have got tendency to war. War from morning six to night ten o'clock, eleven o'clock. We see uh, early in the morning the road is congested. They are going to war. But they do not know why they are working. Uh, they know oh, I am working for filling up this belly. That they know. No, that is not the purpose of work. For filling up the belly, the animals, the ants, the cats, dogs, birds, they are also working. And you shall also work for filling up the belly only. Then what is the value of your life? You should work for yoga. That is human life. Jagyārtha karma. I don't like yoga. Then karma bandhana. We are becoming entrapped, working under the influence of certain material modes of nature. Therefore, you are infecting that material mode of nature, and according to the infection, you develop the next body. Just like according to infection, you develop the disease. So this material body is disease that we do not understand. We are shopping this material body, keeping it fit, but we do not know that this is disease. Anyone, does anyone want to keep the disease? And say, my dear disease, please live with me forever. <laughs> is there any intelligent man say like that? Disease is to be cured, is to be demonized. Uh, in, a, in Hindi they say, jar ar par ko khane ko na do bhag jaya. An unwanted guest and disease, it do not give him to eat, and he'll go out. He'll go out. So any disease, you start for a few days, two days, three days, it will go. And any unwanted guest, if you don't supply him food, he'll automatically go out. So disease should not be maintained. Disease should be cured. So that curing medicine, we have to take, not to maintain this material body. Nasadumanne jato atmanayam asanna pi kle sadaya sadeha. This is real intelligence. Everyone is trying to keep this body, this disease, maintaining. This, this time, next time, next time, next time, going on. Janma mittu marana mala. This is not a, This is, should be cured. Uh, therefore, Shastra says, Nurang pramatta kuruti vikarama jat indriya prītaye āprinoti nasādhamanne jata ātmanayaṁ People are mad and they are doing anything mischievous, sinful. And what is the purpose? Not just to satisfy the senses. You see, there are so many nice food stuff. Krishna has given fruits, flowers, grains milk, butter, sugar, and you can prepare hundreds and thousands of preparation out of it and offer to Krishna and eat it very nicely. No, we must have meat. This is bikarma. Bikarma means sinful activity. Karma, bikarma, and tena taktena bhunjita. God has given you so many nice food stuff. Why should you kill an animal? Therefore, Jesus Christ says, Thou shalt not kill. 
Huh? Then shall I die? No. There are so many things you eat. Huh? Tena daktena. Whatever is ordained by you, by God, Krishna, the same thing is said. Krishna should have said, give me mansang dimmam. No. He says, patram pusmam palam tiyo. Jomi bhakta so this is yoga to satisfy Krishna. So if you offer Krishna these things, what he wants, you will satisfy. Jomi bhakta prajachati, bhakta with bhakti, Krishna said. So why don't you do this? There is yoga. Everyone can perform yoga at home because they are eating. Who is there? He is not eating. Everyone is eating. But uh, if you prepare within these items, patram pustvam phalam soyam, and prepare nice varieties of food stuff and offer to Krishna, that is jagga. That is jagga. And jagga sista sino santa machanti sarvakil musa. If you take prasadam, Krishna will not eat everything. He will eat and he will leave for you also. So don't be afraid that if I offer Krishna, he will take her. <laughs> Krishna is not so hungry. Uh, even if he is hungry, uh, he, he can eat the whole universe. Uh, so just satisfy Krishna. Sir, it is all given by you. These food grains, these fruits, flowers, it is your gift. So you first of all taste or eat, then I say. Krishna is very satisfied. Uh, so we want Krishna's satisfaction. Sānuṣṭhita uh, śrādhārmasa <clears throat> saṃsiddhi haritozanam. You have cooked very nicely. And if Krishna says, yes, it is very nice, then your cooking is perfection. Saṃsiddhi harito saṁ. Say, do anything. If Krishna is satisfied, that is yoga. That is yoga. And one should leave for that purpose. Yajñārthi karmanatra lūpa. Oh, very hard. But yajñārthi. And if you work so hard like ass and cats and dog simply for satisfying your tongue or belly or the genital, a straight line, then you are going to hell. Jagnyarthe karma, annatra karma bandhana. Then you are becoming bound up by the laws of nature. If you eat and sleep, and act like dog, then become dog. Next line. And if you act like God, then you never God. Very easy thing. So what whatever you like you can do. But the Shastra gives you a direction. Jagyarthi. Act work. Work hard for pleasing the Supreme Lord. Jagnarthi. Otherwise, you will be bound up in the <coughs> cycle of birth and death. Don't do it. Uh, so, this Krishna consciousness movement is teaching this education that performed. You cannot escape it. You cannot say that you are interested, you can do. We are not interested. If you are not interested, then you are living a very risky life because you have to change your body. Dehantaram. Huh? <clears throat> and you can see there are examples of so many types of body. Now uh, suppose if you live at the risk of your life and next life you become a tree, a stand up, huh? 
for 5,000 years in the snow, scorching heat, scorching blasting, and so many disturbances, and you cannot move an inch, and people may cut down you, your leaves, your trunk, or you, they are cutting so many. What is that like? And if you think, no, I am living for 5,000 years. What is the use of living such 5,000 years? Uh, no, don't risk life. Karma bandhana. Uh, if you don't perform yoga, if you don't try to satisfy the Supreme Lord, uh, it's like if you don't try to satisfy the government, then it is your risky life. You cannot say that I am living very happily. Because you are cheating government or do not following the laws of the government, that is very risky life. Similarly, if you do not perform yoga, you cannot avoid it. Saho yoga puja sushta. You are, and you have got this human form of life for performing yoga. So in this age and kaliju, it is very difficult to perform other yoga. Therefore, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Krishna has appeared to accept your yoga to deliver you. And the yoga process is very easy. Yagyai saṅkīrtanai. That's all. Simply perform. Wherever you live, at home or outside home, just keep a picture of Sri Chaitanya Mahāprabhu and chant Hare Krishna mantra before him, then your life will be successful. Thank you very much.